So if for some reason you're on Windows and you don't want to use BT2 Toolbox, which is beyond me, because it's so much easier, just make a new folder on your desktop. I'm gonna call this uh, just regular jet modding. So this way is the same way that we did in the previous tutorial series. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Steam, right click on your game, properties, and then go to local files, browse local files, uh, go inside the assets folder, and you're gonna wanna make a copy of btd5.jet. And you're gonna minimize this for now. We're gonna close this, uh, there we go. And then paste btd5.jet here. So in toolbox, we were editing the uh, btd5.jet and for battles, it would be called data.jet. What we're gonna do here is one of two things. We can either right click, seven zip, extract here. This is gonna extract all the files inside the jet into their own little folder. As you can see, you do need a password. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the back of this folder real quick, click on new, text document. We're gonna call this password. Since this is btd5, we're gonna paste this password in here. Uh, it might be a little hard for you guys to see, but I'm gonna have this password in the description. Um, make sure there's no spaces before or after the password, because if there's no code in your file, you have the wrong password. A lot of people were confused about that. Check for spaces. If you're uh, using battles, the password changes each update. Since this is a Windows uh, tutorial, I have the uh, tool in BTD Toolbox that'll get the password for you. Also, you can watch my video on how to get the password for battles for Windows, Android, and one other thing I can't remember. But again, this is the password for BTD5 and Monkey City. So it's gonna be in the description or you can just pause the video and copy it. Anyways, we've got our password. I'm gonna save that there. I'm gonna go back to 7-zip. I'm gonna paste. Make sure that there's no spaces using my arrow keys and I can see that nothing's happening. So I'm gonna click okay. And you can see I'm not getting any bad password errors. So now I've got all my little files in here. And I'm gonna write, I'm gonna go back to, uh, let's go to the tower definition right here. And Dark Monkey is here, so I'm gonna right click. You can use Notepad++. If you don't have that, go to Google, type in Notepad++, and then you can download it from their website. Edit with Notepad++. And here is the same file we were in, BTD Toolbox. Now, when you right click on uh, BTD5.jet, if you do not see this seven zip option, you can just double click on BTD5.jet to open it and then just try to drag the files. It'll ask you for the password just like before. Yeah. Another thing you can do is edit the files inside BTD5.jet directly. So like, for example, you can just open up the tower definitions and let's see, Dark Monkey is here. So I can just double click on this. It'll ask me for the password, so I'll paste the password in. Oh, I guess I didn't set a default app. If you have a default app set, it'll open the files from here. This method is faster, but I don't think it's the best. I think it can have some issues. Um, so it's up to you what you guys end up doing. If you decide to edit it directly inside the jet, after you edit the files, click on this again because you're gonna have to reload them. So go back to your uh, 7-zip and it'll ask you if you wanna reload the zip file, click yes. Anyways, when you're done making your mod this using this method and you wanna put it back together and try it out, I'm gonna rename this bhd5.jet real quick to original. Now I'm gonna make a new folder. Oops, this is just a backup folder because uh, you're gonna to wanna to have a backup folder. I'm just gonna move this in here. So to uh, make your mod using this method, right click on the assets folder, click on 7-zip, add to archive. We're gonna call this btd5.jet. Make sure the settings look just like mine. Like every one of these, archive format has to be zip, compression level is normal, compression method is de uh, deflate. Do this exactly. If you don't, it won't work. Then you're gonna put your password in. For BTD5 and Monkey City, it's this. For BTD Battles, it changes each update. So make sure you put the right password in because if your game crashes, it might be because you have the wrong password. Anyways, press enter. Now I've got a new BTD5.jet. So we're gonna copy this. Go back to our Steam folder, which I have here. 
I'm gonna go inside BTD5, go inside assets, paste and overwrite. And now when I launch my game, it will be the modded files. If you don't do this last part where you're overwriting, it won't work. So your, your game will seem like it's unmodded even though you made your mod. That's because you didn't actually apply it to the game. Anyways, this is a long video, but those are two methods that you can use for making mods on Windows. If you want to learn how to make mods on a different operating system, uh, hopefully by the time you guys get to this playlist, I should say, I have those videos out. Um, if you want to start making a mod, scroll in the playlist until you see a video titled something like, let's make our first mod. And we're going to cover how to make a mod. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next video.